With the announcement of the Jojo Part 6 anime, let's take a look back at where the Jojo storylines began one last time with another Dr. Death Notes video. Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Maddy, a doctor from the UK. In today's video we're going to be looking at the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Season 1 Phantom Blood. And what we're going to be doing is looking at the deaths of some of the iconic characters. I'll be giving my verdict as a doctor uh, as to the cause of death and we'll be giving them a final farewell with their death certificate. Now I'm intending on doing this with all of the Jojo seasons up to part 5 as there are some really weird and bizarre deaths that need a bit more of a medical explanation. So if you want to see more videos like this please do give the video a like and comment down below if there's a specific death scene that you want me to break down. Now for those of you who haven't seen Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, spoilers ahead and with that being said, let's begin. Okay, so this is where it all really begins, with Mary Joestar dying, protecting Jonathan Joestar as a baby. Now, we don't actually see the mechanism of injury in this scene, however, we can assume from a road traffic accident like this that there's likely to be polytrauma as well as a fatal blow to the head. So it looks like the first to face my death certificate is going to be Mary Jo Star, cause of death, polytrauma, time of death, season one, episode one. Rest in peace, Mary Jo Star. <coughs> Okay, and next up we have Dario Brando, Dio's father, and no sooner do we meet him we hear of his demise at the hands of Dio, who's poisoned him. However, in dying it appears as though Dario gives Dio new life, recommending that he go and stay at the Joestar family home, which is where the epic rivalry begins. However, looking at Dario's death certificate, as cause of death we're going to have to put poisoning, part two we could put alcohol dependence, time of death, season one, episode one. Rest in peace, Dario Brando. <laughs> Oh, and this just seems such an unnecessary death with the Joe Star family dog Danny being basically burnt alive. And for anyone new to the JoJo franchise, this is just to illustrate how brutal Dio is as a character. So, cause of death, extensive burns, time of death, season one, episode one. Rest in peace, Danny. <laughs> okay, and here we jump ahead slightly with Dio acquiring immortality at the cost of George Joestar's life, who jumps in the way of the dagger to save his son Jonathan. And in this scene, we see George Joestar take a dagger to the abdomen. And in this region, you have the biggest artery in the body called the aorta. And if severed, you could bleed to death within minutes, if not seconds. So cause of death for George Joestar, internal hemorrhage, time of death, season one, episode three. Rest in peace, George Joestar. <laughs> Okay, and in this scene we have Jonathan Joestar come up against Tarkus, and although Jonathan has developed some Hamon skills, 
he's been outmaneuvered by Tarkas in this scene. And as a last ditch effort, Baron Zeppeli has had to step in to save Jonathan's life, despite him having a premonition that he would die in a scenario like this. Now, the only real way that I can describe this type of injury is as a major trauma uh, with disembowelment, and the likely cause of death has been hemorrhage. So the cause of death for Baron Zeppeli would have to be internal hemorrhage from major trauma, time of death, season one, episode seven. Rest in peace. And our penultimate death here is that of Dyer. I think I pronounced that correctly, but he always reminds me of Panalaf from the later um, seasons. But he's clearly underestimated Dio here with his attack uh, and subsequently been frozen. I mean, the only real way that I can classify his death here is that of severe hypothermia with frostbite that's led to autoamputation. Um, so cause of death, severe hypothermia with frostbite, time of death, Season 1, Episode 8. Rest in peace, Dio. Jojo, Miro, Kono Dio no Nasake na Kisunata. Ano me wa, ma, ma zai! Waga niktai to natte iki yo, Jojo! Kimiou na yujou sura kanjiru yo. Ima, futari no unbei wa kanzen ni hitotsu ni natta. So shite. Okay, and here we're on to the finale and what a heroic death it is. I mean, not only does Jonathan get shot through the neck, but he's also able to take down a whole ship of zombies as he dies. And I mean, just look at how he embraces Dio as a brother in the end, despite all of this happening. So, Jonathan Joestar, cause of death, I'm going to put asphyxia, time of death, season one, episode nine. Rest in peace, Jonathan Joestar. Okay, I hope you found that trip down memory lane enjoyable. As I say, I'm looking to put out a video on each and every one of the seasons of the JoJo franchise uh, in anticipation of part six coming out. If you like these types of videos or you want more explanation on any particular death scenes or any other anime breakdowns like this, please leave those down in the comments below. But otherwise, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.